Hi friends, welcome to my channel, and if you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a look with neutral eyes and really bold lips. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't mind my nails, they're just painted super bad. I'm going to start with some hair, skin, and nails gummies because they taste super good. And then some deep cleaning toner all over the red spots in my face. And then an Eco Lips Lip Scrub. It's a sugar scrub, you just scrub it all over the lips and then wipe it off, you know the drill. And then a Clean and Clear Morning Burst uh, Gel Moisturizer. I just find that these feel really refreshing in the morning. And then I'm using this new eye cream called Burt's Bees Hydrating Eye Cream or something. And um, I can't figure out how to get it out of the tube, so I'm literally trying to read how to get it out of the tube. Oops! There we go. Got it out. <laughs> Take two. Just going to be dotting this all over the under eyes and then tapping it in super gently. And you don't want to rub or tug at all at your under eyes when you're rubbing that in. Then a Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask on the lips. Some MAC Prep and Prime, spritzing it all over, and a Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser to blend and blur those pores. L'Oreal True Match. This is my favorite foundation. I'm just dotting it all over, taking some on the neck as well, rubbing it in with my hands to make it really blended and kind of sheer on the neck. This is an off-brand face brush that I found, and I was just testing it out. Um, it was pretty difficult to work with. I had to really, really go over the same spots, and it just looked streaky. I couldn't do it. Couldn't take it. So we're going in with the Real Techniques blending sponge. When in doubt, sponge it out. So we're just going to dab. Blend in the rest of the face, around that nose area, forehead, blah, blah, blah. Taking some LA Girl Pro Conceal, I do little triangles under my eyes, and then I drag them out. Inner corners, the nose, the chin, the forehead, and just blend all of that in. And I'm using the Real Techniques Blending Sponge for all of the face blending. And I'm just looking up when I do my under eyes because this prevents creasing. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick and I'm using it for a cream, co cream contour. It's called Call Me Maple. I love the shade. It's just really dark and blends really nicely with my skin. Taking my blending sponge to blend it out. For the cheekbones, I'm just tapping it in, trying not to spread it around too much. If it goes anywhere, it goes up, never down. And on the forehead, I really want to make like a nice gradient. Then I use this Stila Magnolia Cream Blush. I'm just dabbing it onto my cheeks with my fingertips. And for setting powder, this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and the powder puff that it comes with. I'm going to dab under my eyes just with my ring finger before I go in with the powder so that when I go in with the powder I'm not setting any creases that the concealer may have already settled into. Then I'm taking it all over, really pushing, pushing into those fine lines that I'll have later. I'm leaving the cream contour and cream blush areas free of powder for now. Then I'm taking my Hoola bronzer. And then I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk contour brush. And first I just apply the product so that it's got a nice even application. And then I'm going to start blending it in. And I really take some time with blending. This step is pretty important if you want to look chiseled and cut. And it was a bit much for me, so I'm just taking my sponge to further blend it in. Sorry, I just got this, so I'm super excited about it. 
I'm going to take this shade right here, Vegas, and I'm going to pop that on the cheeks with my Sony Kashuk blush brush. Like so. And then I'm also going to go in with that, which is chocolate. Put that on, and it was a bit bright for me, so I'm just applying some more translucent setting powder, trying to tone it down. This Mary Luminizer from The Balm is totally shattered. It broke the first time I traveled with it, which is just really sad. And I'm using my finger because if I used a brush, it would go everywhere, and I don't want that. So cheekbones, nose, Cupid's bow, and then this Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm just taking it all over the lids and taking my Storybook Cosmetics brushes. I'm going to use this fluffy crease brush with the Smoke Bomb palette and that shade right there, Glow. And that is a really nice transition shade. It's cool toned a bit and it's pretty neutral. It just adds a nice shadow. Then I'm taking my Z palette. If you haven't seen my video on this Z palette, go ahead and check it out. I'm using that nice cool tone mauve shade to deepen the crease some more. Then my Lorac Pro Matte palette. I'm going to use burgundy right there. And I'm taking it on a small pointy shadow brush. And I create like a, a triangle first. And then just to make sure it's got enough product and then I blend it a small bit with that brush but I really go in with this angled crease brush and no product and just really blend 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 that out. Now I'm taking pink mauve just on the fingertip and putting it on my eyelids and some more of that burgundy. Now I actually pick up product and add it in as I feel needed. Taking my angle brush again, I'm going to go in with black, and this time I'm making an even smaller triangle, and then I'm going to blend it in. No additional product, just the burgundy that was left over. Then I'm going to clean up the angles, and taking this mauve tone again, under my eyes this time with a small angled brush. And then I'm going to use the champagne color for the inner corners and the brow bone highlights. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just used the brush from the Brow Wiz and I'm going to use my pomade for my actual brows. And I love this Wet n Wild small angle brush. It is really, really affordable and totally gets the job done. Just drawing in my eyebrows, trying to fill it in, and brushing it out. Then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner, and I create a really thin line along my lash line first. And then after that, I'm going to add wings off camera. And ta-da! Okay, so I used Marc Jacobs blacker liner for my water lines. Light Camera Lashes from Tarte for my upper and lower lashes. These falsies, I do not know if they are Andrea or Kiss, but they are a drugstore. I wiggled the lash band to warm it up. And then I'm taking the lash and trimming it to fit my eye shape and size. And then some random glue also. Um, if you're going to trim your lash, make sure you trim the side with the longer lashes. The inner, shorter lashes are really made to fit your eye shape and also you don't want to cut off the shorter ones and have really short eyelashes in your inner corner. And this is the Please Lash Glue Just Dry Lash Glue Dance. So just apply them however you're most comfortable. My fingers work best for me. And then if any corners were sticking up, I would add some lash glue to a Q-tip and just apply it on my eyelid and then hold the lash there. This is my favorite part of the tutorial. So I'm applying this NYX, <laughs> NYX liquid lipstick. Uh, it's one of those suede liquid cream lipsticks in Disruptive. And 
then I'm just applying it all over and I love this color so much. It's amazing. And I'm going to set everything with some e.l.f. mist and set. And there you have it. That's the finished look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite bold lip to wear is. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.